Greetings. So as you know, there's been a lot of AVFM drama of late. Diana Davidson and JTO were both fired a couple of months ago, and I thought I would just chime in. To be honest, I am disappointed in the direction that AVFM has been going through since the conference. They got a ton of momentum from the conference, but they don't seem to have followed it up. Um, the month after the conference, the search traffic for AVFM actually halved. Now granted, it's getting slightly better and eventually it will get to the point of the peak of the conference, but nonetheless, it is a missed opportunity in my eyes. What should have happened, really, was to start courting politicians at that point, in, pre in preparation for the US elections of 2014. That's what they should have done, they should have focused on politicians after that point. I haven't been on their website that much um, in the past 12 months, but when I have, all I see is sensationalist articles, I don't see any actual activism going on the website. Um, they seem to be more about making weekly roundup videos, interviewing people who have been doing activism rather than doing actual activism themselves. That's another thing. The quality of videos uh, the past 12 months just has been poor, to be honest. It, it, I wouldn't say poor, it's just it's not been quite as insightful as the year before, but that's just my opinion. Um, I had a conversation with Dean Esme. I like Esme, I really do. I think he's a good team player. And I think he's playing a loyal spin doctor. But I told him about the directionlessness that AVFM has been since the conference. And the lack of actual activism. And he responded that AVFM is more about culture changing. And I responded to that, I responded to that by saying, you make it sound like activism can't change culture. And activism, whether successful or not, can change culture. An example of that, for instance, to a certain extent, is Father of Justice. Now, they failed to change the laws. But they climbed Buckingham Palace, and in doing so, they showed the UK that men wanted to be fathers in a society that mocks fathers as being Homer Simpsons. Regardless, I think the lack of directionlessness. Regardless, I think the lack of directionlessness and policy-focused approach to AVFM, such as 50/50 parenting, is problematic. By focusing more on consciousness raising rather than uh, actual activism, some may get bored, and and they may just give up. AVFM needs to focus more on actual activism, focusing on things that we can all agree on, like 50-50 parenting. That unifies everybody in the voice of men, traditionalists or not. Because right now, the biggest concern, at Razor Blade Candy, is not whether Djokovic is a conservative, conservative. It's that AVFM doesn't seem to be doing anything. However, I think it's really important that we be careful with the language we use, and remember that AVFM still is the biggest website in the MRA sphere, so I hope we can get through this period and and a voice for men can uh, be a bit more relevant, do some more actual activism and bring about some change. AVFM, AVFM needs a victory. It needs, it needs some sort of policy victory. That's what they should be focusing on right now.